Hey traders, John Howell here. So today the market, you know, the Fed announcement did the thing and, and we started to get the rally and I did a video, I've been doing some videos in the last couple of days saying last time they did the rate hike and the market was coming down, we actually rallied. Is this the start of a rally or is it something else? I want to share something. We need to wait. I've got to share something with you both from a, yeah, there's, there's, a few, there's a few things from a chart perspective, but also what happens tomorrow is going to give us a really good clue on what's going to happen moving forward there. And also the mining sector right now, gold gold and silver stocks are really um, in that oversold territory and we may be getting ready for that scooping action before we see a move up. So let me just share that with you. Let's get straight into it. Don't place a trade based on what you'll see in this video because there is no guarantees of making a profit in the market. It takes you a long time to become a good trader. So this video here is just to educate you to become a much better trader. Alrighty traders, so let me just get straight um, into so what we actually have what actually happened here um, in the markets um, is that we started this we, we got this here and I've, I've been doing some videos over the last couple of days and uh, over the last couple of days we actually got oh over the last couple of days I've been saying you know what last time we were heading down into this is when the, when the rate announcement was coming out we actually found a bottom and then we rallied very strong Okay, so the the big thing that I'm watching right now is that we are in we we are rallying we, we we did rally very strong and then we had a very big strong sell. Now we were oversold anyway on the markets, so I was expecting some sort of a rally anyway because we just and again for the last couple of videos, if you've been watching those, you'd be you'd be seeing that. So we had we definitely had a very strong movement to the upside now. Here's the two different things that I'm, that's in my mind right now when it comes to this, um, when, when it comes to reading the charts. And guys, if you want to learn how to read the charts, make sure you grab that free trading course. I recorded a, a brand new trading course just a few weeks ago. Um, and phase two and phase three is all about really chart reading and advanced chart reading techniques and stuff like that, just to help you understand how to read these markets a lot better. And then I've got the trading systems, the money management, how I scan the markets, the biggest mistakes and a whole bunch of stuff. So again, guys, very first link in the description, or if you just go to johnsfreegift.com um, and you'll be able to get that. So there's a few things that's, that happens in the past that I've noticed with, with the Fed announcement. What tends to happen is this, is that the market will do a reaction on the day of the Fed. Okay, so they make their rate announcement, they up it, down it, decrease it, whatever, okay? So what happens is that when they raise it, we may see an up bar like this. Now, what can happen is, I've seen it many times, is for it to get retraced. Um, and what you see a lot of times is the market will come back down and retrace what actually happened on the Fed announcement day. Now, I've just noticed that a lot. So the very first thing that I say about the markets in general is, yeah, we are very, very oversold. And I'm, so I'm expecting a pretty strong rally out of this anyway, looking at this. But we need a bit, we, we, we want to make sure tomorrow is not like this. Okay, so we want to make sure tomorrow, and it's going to be interesting to see what happens tomorrow. If we do get another nice update like this, then we're probably going to have a very, very, very strong rally because we are definitely oversold in the markets right now. So that's the that's the first thing, the first the the first uh, thing uh, or the first uh, pattern that I'm looking for to see what's going to happen. If we completely reverse, then it's probably going to continue going continue going down. But the next thing I do say is that the rally, how strong is the rally? Because that's going to give us a really big clue on what's going to happen there. Okay. So if we get a, if once we do get the rally, is it going to be strong or is it going to be weak? What I mean by that is that we have the high up here. We have the down through here. If we start to get, let me draw a Fibonacci level here for a minute. Right, so if we start to get a rally, but we only get up to the 60, 68%, maybe even just a little bit higher and we start to fail. So if we start to get something like this, and then we start to fail, like we start to go sideways, and then we start to roll over, that's not going to be good. That's not going to be good because that's going to be the warning sign of the market then starting to roll over again. And then now we're starting to see a bit of a downward trend, right? Because now we have a low, a lower low, and a lower high, right? 
So the market's in a downward trend through there and we're starting to roll over. That's gonna be the warning sign I wanna see. So the first thing is, the, the first the first pattern I'm looking for um, is do we reverse tomorrow or not? If we don't, then we're likely to continue seeing a very strong rally. Secondly is how, how strong is the actual rally? Is it like this or is it more like what we got back here? Very move up, or if we start to get a very strong move back up. So that's gonna give, the, the, and the reason why I'm looking for that is because if we get a very strong rally, there's a real good chance we're gonna see this into probably May, maybe even into June, and then maybe the second half of the year, we're gonna create a low and a higher low. This is the big thing here, guys. We're looking for a higher low. Once we start to get that high low breaking past these previous highs, that's gonna tell us, okay, the buyers are coming back in now. Now we're likely to see some extended moves to the upside. And the same thing I talk about when it comes to gold as well too. So the first pattern is the reversal. The second pattern is how strong um, actually is that? Because if we if we look at the markets right now as as it is, okay, and let me let me just squeeze this chart up. If you actually look at the market as it is right now, you will notice that there is no one. There's no one in control. There's no trend. Okay, it's like it's the market's indecisive. We haven't got a decisive trend yet. Right, so we did, but we don't. But we don't. We did because we actually had a high, a low, a lower high, a lower low. Then we had a lower high and a lower low. Now look what's happened. We've made a what? A higher high. Now we've made a lower low. So there is no one. There's no definite trend. There's no one in control of what is going on right are we likely to continue up there's there's no definite control this is going to be a very critical month for the markets because it's going to give us a really good sign if we do get that weak move up and we start to get that lower high and we start to roll over if we get something like this and we, then we start to go like that and we roll over and we got something like that then yeah this is going to be something much 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 bigger on the downside I doubt that just because of where we are right now um, and, uh, and, and I do see inf inflation's been going crazy for a long time now. So there's going to come a point in time, I believe, over the next few months where we're going to start to really see that slow down and start to pull back. I could be wrong, but that's going to be a very, very, very big factor there. Um, or, and again, we get that, or do we see a very, maybe a strong move up through there? We get a high, we come down, we make a high low, and then then away we go. We, we you need to wait for that higher low first, right? That higher low is the is the sign to say, okay, now we're getting ready to go again, right? This actually happened back in even with the, even with the COVID situation. Look at this here, right? The market ran down, came down, 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 down. As soon as we had what low, high, and a high low, and we start to break that. Guess what? We started the what upward trend from there. So this here was the point of the buyers coming back in. So the market is always talking to us. Again, guys, if you like to learn more about the actual chart reading, then go get my, it's a, it's a free trading course, okay? The phase number one is all about the things that are stopping you from actually doing well out of trading. There's like 13 biggest mistakes and how to overcome them. And then phase number two and three are all really about, um, it's, it's, I call it the chart reading phase, okay? the chart reading mastery phase, okay? So the very first thing in the description, guys, just go get, go get, us a, go get access to that, I promise you. You're gonna love it. So, um, they're the two big things. I don't care what anyone else says, okay, guys, because I don't care what the white papers say. I don't care what the fundamentals say, because all that matters is what the market is doing, okay. And then right now, what is the market doing? We, we're actually getting a high, and now we're getting a low. There is no trend right now. So this is going to be the next month is going to be major, okay. And this is the three major things three major patterns I'm looking for uh, for the next month to tell us what's um, three major important patterns for the next month to tell us what's going on here. The, the, just to recap, the first one was that what actually happens tomorrow if we get a reversal, that's not gonna be good. Secondly is the actual, if we do start to see a rally, how strong is that rally? And the third one right now is that we're actually, no one's in control, so we need to wait for someone to come in control. Again, guys, it doesn't matter what you think or what you hope for, okay? It's it's what the market's doing right now. There's no one in control. And we're getting that across the market as well too. 
even though the tech sector's been down a lot, guess what? The, te the tech sector, there's no one in control of the tech sector. Okay, we have this high and we have this low down here. We have this higher high and we have this lower low. Again, look at this here. No one's in control. There's a lot of indecision through here. And again, all the indices are majorly oversold. So I would expect to see a very strong relief rally. Just depends on how strong that rally is going to be. Again, and my 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 view while looking at all the major indicators is that we're not at the top of the market. We're getting ready for a major slingshot. And so my trailer video, you see where I say, uh, I have a target of five and a half thousand up here, but by the end of the year, people say that that's just crazy. That's never going to happen. Look how close that actually. That's actually not that far away, right? And we're still got what seven months of the year left. Anything can happen, guys. Right? Anything can happen. Uh, and again, the big thing for me, guys, is just just continue to read the markets. Let's go have a look at gold here for a minute. Um, let me just take that off the screen. Okay, so gold out. Gold definitely had that pullback through there. Gold didn't really move much. Yes, much today. Uh, we just we've been in this downward sort of downward sort of leg through here. So it's going to be really interesting to see what actually happens here with gold because again sideways a bit of a pullback gold really didn't really move i believe we're, like, we're gonna see a, if i believe we're gonna see a very big move coming um in gold uh because there is a recession coming we know that um but when that recession comes we we don't know that so um i believe that gold is going to make a very big rally before we see the recession hit silver actually had a bit of a bit of a strong bottom but silver was actually getting so this is actually not not good for silver. Um, this we had a low, we had a high, and now we had a very big move down. So are we about to get something like this on silver? Silver's actually not looking good at all. If we go have a look at the mining sector, the mining sector is, is actually looking a lot different. We're starting to get that again. The mining sector is definitely oversold, um, and we're definitely right at this level here. If I go to the GDXJ as well too, you can see here we're right at that level there majorly ever sold so i would expect to see i would expect to see a very nice strong rally out of this but here's the thing guys here's the thing remember i said before about market making higher lows and then, then the market makes a move so we've been in this downward phase through here then we can make a low high is this going to be a high low if it is like this then in the big picture of things if i just go back to my weekly charts now in my big picture of things, that that by the way, guys, that high low on that daily chart that I just showed you. Uh, let's actually do this here. That higher low, if we get that, is that right there? That's all it is right there. If we get this pattern here, coming into it, there's a real high probability that that's going to be the start of something really incredible. We're going to start to probably see a move to the to the all time new highs. Um, now. Obviously, guys, there's no guarantees of that, right? Um, the market can go to 80, then then crap itself. Uh, but this right now and building what I'm seeing here, we're getting ready for that higher low. And once we start to get that, then we're going to start to see the meat, what I call the meat and potatoes of the move. We've been doing nothing for a couple of years. We've broken out. We're coming back down. We made a higher high. Are we going to get a higher low and start to rally up? If we do, we're likely to see a very, very, very strong move to the upside.